While cancer may be the most frightening word in medicine, beyond the emotional turmoil of a cancer diagnosis, patients have a lot of questions and there are not many resources to turn to. That is, until now, a UW Health doctor wrote a guide called Cancer, What You Need to Know. Doctors Need to Know. Dr. Steven Rosenberg is the Chief Resident of Radiation Oncology at the UW Carbone Cancer Center. We have the book here. Thanks for being with Dr. us. Dr. Rosenberg, great to see you. Thanks so much for having me. What? Big fan of the show. Oh, so, so happy to thank be here. Thank you. What prompted you to write this? So, you know, this really served as a guide for patients in terms of trying to understand their cancer. And when I was meeting with patients uh, during consultations, I really found it was tough to educate them about everything I wanted to during an initial, con initial visit. And so I tried to, you know, get them to, you know, read about their cancer, find information online or in books. And what I found was that a lot of the information that was available was either poorly written, was overwhelming for them. So I really tried to put together a guide that was easy to understand, easy to you know, kind of approach, and really give them a big aerial view about their cancer and how to think about it. So how did you approach the book? So really in terms of approaching the book, I thought about it as if I was having a conversation with a cancer patient. What did I want them to think about? What did I want them to understand? Uh, what's important and what's not important? I felt like a lot of the text information out there for people was really just overwhelming. They yeah. took you into the details of cancer chemotherapy and that's not what patients needed. What they needed was this aerial view about where is my cancer going? Who should be part of my treatment team? How should I be thinking about my quality of life and quantity of life? And so these are all the things I try to get into the book and make it really approachable for them as they're dealing with this really overwhelming process and diagnosis. Yeah, and practically every family has been touched by cancer. Including yours. Yeah. Your father yeah. had a cancer diagnosis. Yeah, yeah, he did. And so I did my some of my initial training at Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York City. And uh, unfortunately, my father had a colon cancer diagnosis after becoming a resident here for about one or two years. And he had a surgery back at Sloan Kettering. And I was there to kind of serve as a guide, as an interpreter between the doctors and my father. And I found that to be a really important thing to, you know, help him through that process. And, you know, when I we were talking to my wife about that, and she basically said to me, you know, you know, you're really doing a great job interpreting this. I think a lot of patients don't have that. And I said, no, you're, you're really right, they don't. And so we kind of talked about, well, how can we help people almost have that interpreter available for them? And this guide kind of came out of those yeah. conversations. Yeah, glossary, all the terms, it's written in, in language that people can understand, yeah. room to make notes, yeah. maybe ask your doctor questions. Common yeah. mistakes, yeah. you talk about that? Yeah, so I really try to outline uh, 10 common mistakes I see patients make going through this process. For example, you know, not involving palliative care early on, which has really been shown to improve pain, quality of life, when the things people are going through. And as you mentioned, I really try to outline and make it so people can take notes in the book. There's actually a lot of negative space in the book, and I did that on purpose, because I didn't want people to open the book and see walls of text. Just I wanted them to see, you know, and be, again, overwhelmed. They're dealing with it enough right now, so trying to make the, te uh, the text as approachable as I could in every way possible. Congratulations. Cancer, what you need to know, available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, exactly. wherever you get your books. Yeah. Happy New Year, Doctor. Thanks Happy for being with us Thanks Pleasure so much for having me. Best of luck to you. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. We'll